Hey everybody, um, I know I've been going over stuff like I created that Doom Marathon example using Blender. I made another version, I haven't put it up. It's getting a little buggy, so I need to keep working on it and then show you guys how to do it. But until then, I've been looking for Raycast Engine, similar to the ones that did the Wolfenstein games. Uh, the beginning beginning ones, not the full 3D ones, but like the first Wolfenstein engine. And I've been looking for games or uh, engines that do like Doom. I found one, but it only runs off a DOS and um, 90, uh, 95 and 98. And it's called 3D Rate Ray Designer. I think that's what it's called. The other one is called RGM. Ray, uh, Ray, Ray game, uh, Ray casting game maker. It is like if you wanted to do a full copy of the Wolfenstein game. It, it's basically that's it. I mean, you got it. Uh, promise you only can do five enemies. Uh, and I'll show you that. So we have enemy animations, and it's pretty easy. You just put it in. So what you do is you load them in, and so okay, here's my skeleton enemy. I'll show you him. You load him in with a white background. So you load the sprite in, you load him in with a white bra background. And then what it will do is that with enemies, if you put a white background, it will take out the white and put it as a transparency. Now if you put a, a with paint.net, you put a regular transparency in, it will just put a black background. So it's going to be really kind of screwed up. So whenever you play with this game engine, and you do enemies, put a white background. And then, uh, bring it back up. So you have four walk animations, two attack animations, and five die animations. And, I'll close. and you can have one, two, three, four, five. Five enemies. Um, the guy who really, who really worked his butt off working this needs to work a bit more because I want the ability, though, to add a few more enemies. Like, if he has, like, an add button where you just add, continually add new different type of enemies. I mean, I don't care if he just keeps with the, like, these. This is kind of annoying. I wish he had an add button so I continue doing walk animations, attack animations, die animations, and others. But if he just had a, a limited time, I just want to do more enemies because five enemies is not enough. But for small games, it's okay. Um, and then enemy setup. This is, you want them to shoot or you want them to do, like, a melee attack so like my skeleton he attacks with a sword so I say no you cannot shoot this is speed like the way he walks the way he attacks endurance that's how much he can get shot at before he dies this is power power deals with how much uh, when he attacks you how much uh, strength he uses and also how much uh, power he knocks out of you. So in every attack, he knocks two power out of you, or two life points out of you. Um, this is world. You do new load world. Okay, once you create a world, what happens is if you do new, like say if I click new, I would click to a new um, screen, which would be blank, and then I could do all my tiling and all that stuff. You do load. And I do two for my next level until you get to a new one. And then if you save world, you can save up to 20 levels. So right now I'm on only on two. I'm about to go to three as soon as I make those tiles. But it's be one, two, three, four, all the way up to 20. And then if you want to make a new game, all you do is type in one, you click save, and you just saved over the, your game. Uh, but you can create in, it into a, a, an executable game. Import pack file. Okay, every time you create a game, it makes a pack file. So in case you want to go back to the old game that you just created, you can uh, just load up its pack file and then you're good to go. And of course you got exit. So tools, exchange walls, um, it's if you want to replace one wall with another wall. I haven't actually messed around with that. 
haven't needed to import wall textures you can have up to I, a whole bunch of wall textures and I'm replacing the uh, in in game ones the ones that he's given us uh, with this game engine I'm replacing it with my own medieval ones and then you can have even animated textures but um I don't do animated textures on the same game yet door is uh the way this works is it's door one so every door in level one will look like this every door in level two will look like that and then you just keep replacing the default doors and then in level 20 all the doors will look like the one you put in this square next uh, door level import next door level texture that's if um, like right over here is I have a bunch of metal grates all combined into one image so it looks like a, a like a metal door of a whole bunch of uh, gates that have been slammed together to make a very solid door that's the next level and so to get to the next level you need to open up this door to open up the next level door to access the next level you need to find a key and that's the key and you can change that image uh, for import floor and ceiling textures again you go down so it's level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 same over here for ceiling for my first one you're outside near to a town now due to this game being a like a um, what was it um, the Wolfenstein engine you can't do large outside areas so you practically can't really do it but you can get around it I mean it's not like the um, if Doom Builder had turned into like a where you could build a game and turn it into an executable file I'd be using that engine but this is the closest one I can get to an actual um, ray testing engine that's pretty cool but well, this is a sky that's a ceiling for the next level and that's to be ceiling for the third level all the way down to the tenth level again this is the enemies and games uh, weapons you can do weapons now a, a lot of people have been kind of getting really annoyed and I'm going to do a tutorial series on how to do this engine but this is your default weapon this is a uh, can it shoot yes how fast to shoot, uh, power of the shooting, starting ammo, max ammo, show bullet, uh, weapon 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, start with weapon 1. Import ammo, and yeah, these are the, the default images, uh, not default images, these are the images for the ammo and health. So size of ammo pack is 20, size of health pack is 30. Key. Now, the key, it goes straight to looking for an image. Uh, normally, I use bitmaps. It, it kind of gets buggy if you don't use anything else other than bitmaps. Uh, like .bmp. But sometimes you can use other things other than bitmaps. Import treasure. Uh, 100, 200, now these are my images, 3, 4, 5, so I put a 200 point and a couple like 100 point treasures over there. Sprite import sprites, now these are just basic standstill items. Um, so it's like if you destroy them they look like that. There's a column, a tree, a guy in jail, another guy in a jail, a blank jail, a light, and a fountain that I made. And I put some miners. And you can collision detection, yes, so you don't walk through them. Uh, no collision detection on the lamp. You actually don't want to do that. I was figuring out why, I was trying to figure out why they uh, keep bumping into the light texture. Because I had collision detection on them. You actually want to knock that off. So you want to say no. Endurance. Do you want to be? Do you, do you want to destroy it? Yes. No. Uh, shoot through this enemy. Can enemy and player can shoot through the sprite with bullets. Must destroy sprites. 
Uh, so yeah, you gotta check that out. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then you just place these, so you just click on them, and then you just place them, and then you right click to delete them. Sounds, import sounds. So, player walk, weapon 1, 2, 3, 6, impact of weapon, sir, uh, siren, door open, door close, next level, you can then, okay, say I wanted to, like, I'm actually going to change, uh, weapon 1, so you would load sound, and it would be a WAV file. And what you do is to open bitmaps, and this is in bitmaps, so this would be computer, uh, OS, program 86, ready casting, game maker, game bits. So you go to your program files and you look for your ready casting, game maker, and then you click on game bitmaps, and then you'll see these. I'm going to get also on how to replace these so you can replace them with your own weapons. Because obviously if you do a medieval game of Hexen or heretic type game or a medieval game, you don't want to have a team machine gun in a medieval game. And then you can replace all of these with your own images. I'll be doing that later in the series. Settings. Uh, you want a password. So people need passwords to open it. Game settings. Uh, window tile title uh, a god mode so you can cheat uh walk forward wazd uh move left move right you usually want to keep those empty so you do a waz key and then move around with your mouse uh look up look down i told i told those to be a mouse control with a speed of five and eight shooting left mouse open door Uh, open door is a space using a uh, use shader show map is M so if you click M you get a map uh, sensitivity use and your info text I haven't really gotten to that since I haven't finished my game and a game is you can have an icon for your game I go to let's see this is an ICO file dot icon ICO or dot ICO so you click on it and it becomes the icon and then you what you do then is when you finish a game or when you finish for the time being until you want to get back to it is you click save world and since this is level two I will click save yes and get to, the way I keep doing that I think because I have no, so I have to close that. And then create game. Where do you want to save it? Dark realms. Overwrite dark realms. No, but well, yeah, once you save it and all that stuff. You then click execute and it will play it. What you can also do is it will have already created an executable, a pack file, and a SNDC, SNDCFG.RGM file. Do not delete any of these, else you cannot play it. It will have some wacky music and um, you can replace that later. You click space, click space, you replace the whole thing where you have a help, and you can replace this image with a help file. You do a load game, you do a save game, sound settings, help, quit, all that stuff. So, okay, I'm going to show you a bit of this. This is a bit of my game. You're a wizard. Walk into this town and um, it's empty. You want to figure out why? These guys are a bit tall. As you can see, the, see, the sky is like right on top of you, which is kind of annoying. See if I had the uh, Doom Builder. 
I would be able to race up this guy and put proper roofs on these things, or at least semi-proper roofs. Oh, it looks like any bookshelf right there. Awesome. Can't get both. And then, see this guy? No, get out of the way. That's not good. So he's moving, he's doing his animations, and he has attack animations, and he has guy animations. And that's your blast. And then you can just... These are in-game sprite items, so... They'll always follow you. These are actually pretty large levels. And yeah, I press M and you get a map. And you've got gold coins you can collect. There's a fountain. And then you get another building. That key, I will change the key, it looks really bad. What you get in the house? It's mana, so you can do magic. I was thinking about doing this in the Blender game engine, but I have to learn uh, Python to put in a script. Yeah, this guy's a like, And if you die, it goes red. So, that's it. And I hope you like it. I will do a tutorial series on how to uh, use this engine. And uh, I'll just see if I can do that later. But yeah, this is the wall texture. So you can create walls. And then this place is a regular wall texture. Uh, so that you can replace all these textures and put walls. Here's your blank sprites that you don't really do anything with. You can put them as uh, columns or anything like that. You can also destroy them. Your weapons, ammo, health, key, treasure, player. And you just place that. The player has already been pushed, so if I right click on him to delete him, I can place him back. Next door level, a uh, door for the next level, and a regular door. And then your enemies that you can place anywhere. Literally, so if you want to take on like a thousand of these guys, go ahead. Um, it does have its limitations. Uh, like I said, I, if somebody can actually create a ray casting game engine, please finish it. And um, I know it's not updated how you can, you can do all this stuff in a regular engine, but I like these engines. But, um, yeah. So, I'll get the rest of this stuff on the tutorial, and hopefully will be more of this level, level later. And, that's it. If you have any questions? Please just email me on my uh, YouTube email and I will get back to you when I can.